Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Time to make a video. And um, this is a January the 11th. It is 7.48 in the morning here in Holland, Michigan. And I'm waking up to another day. So yeah, I hope you had a, a good week. Today is a Saturday. Today is um, outside. It's raining. It's supposed to turn to ice, icy roads, ice storm. Typical Michigan weather this time of year. And like I said, I'm just waking up to another day. I got up and what I what I do when I got up? Messed with the computer, looked at some booktube, looked at the news, and I uh, made some oatmeal and been writing in my diary. I'm on page thirty this morning. I got my diary. I got my diary out to see what I've been reading since I last made a video. And uh, uh, yesterday was Friday. I volunteered at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, and I I got the, I was looking at this book at the Book Nook. Uh, Stefan, Stefan Ziglig, Mary Antoinette, A Portrait of an Average Woman. I have, he's written novels. He, uh, says here, Stephen, Stefan Ziglig was born in 1881 to Vienna. He was first known as a poet and translator and then as a biogra bio biographer producing studies of assortment of notable people. I have his biography on Bolzac, and this is his biography on Marie Antoinette. So, I was at the book nook, and I have, I have bought with me these two books to read. Uh, the Death of Baseball by Orlando Otega Mendede. Minda? I have bought this. I have been, I think I read 71 pages in this. And I have bought this book, The Fan Maker's Inquisition by Ricky Ducournet, Cornet, uh, a novel of the Marquise de Sade, historical fiction. But I didn't get around to reading those. I just looked at this book, uh, Marine Antoinette, Portrait of an Average Woman. And I also looked at this last night. This is another biography on Maria Antoinette, The Journey by Antonio Fraser. So I looked at those last night. And uh, I also have been reading short stories of James Purdy. The Complete Short Stories of James Purdy. Introduction by John Waters. So I've been reading these. And also reading uh, Bangkok 8 by John Burnett. And reading Blood Orchard. On Natural History of America by Charles Bolden. So these are the kind of things I read. In the mornings... I've been reading this pretty steadily. Moses' Choice by Jeremiah Burroughs. He was an English Puritan. He lived from 1599 to 1646. So those are things I've been kind of reading in my state of exile here in Holland, Michigan. Uh, 
I was supposed to get um, a book in the mail either today or next week, and um, I'll show that in an, in the next video. Not really much else going on here. But like I said yesterday, I went to the book nook, and when I got home, I got home early because my replacement came in at 12:25 instead of one o'clock. We had Ollie, our son's dog, so when I got home, I let him out. He went home last night. Caleb came back from his trip to work there in Boston. And uh, let's see what else I have here in my diary. Uh, reading, uh, like I said, I've been reading James Purdy. I got this in the mail yesterday. <laughs> So don't, I won't give the impression I've been reading it for a couple of days. I read three stories out of this last night. Read Maria Antoinette. Read The Fan Maker's Inquisition. Moses' Choice. Uh, the Death of Baseball. The Death of Baseball. I also read a book I don't have here, but it was an essay, a, a group of essays called Inside the Sky, A Meditation on Flight by William Lankin. I came across that because he's mentioned as a, the foreword on this book by Charles Bolden, William Landwischer, and I realized I had a, a little slim volume of him down in the lower level. And so I got that out the other day, Inside the Sky, A Meditation on Flight. And I read that for a couple of hours. And I read Blood the Orchard, A Natural History of America. And Moses' Choice. Those are kind of things I've been reading here in the Hermit Hut. I spent a lot of time, you know, just, just goofing off. <laughs> I don't... <coughs> My wife was home from work. She's working now. She's She works the ne next three nights and then she's off two weeks. Next Thursday early morning she flies out of Grand Rapids and goes to Seattle to spend a week with our son Josiah and his wife Hannah and the little girl Marika. So I'll be here holding down the fort and yeah, so not much else really going on. Like I said, I the days go by. I I read Moses' Choice in the mornings. I try to read books like Moses' Choice until twelve, one o'clock, and then I'll read a short story or read some more Blood Orchard. I'm almost done with Bangkok Eight. I only got that much pages left. Today is professional football playoffs. Last night, I looked forever for this book, Maria Antoinette by Antonio Fraser. I looked for hours for this book. And I have another, I have another biography on Maria Antoinette that I can't find. Just drove me insane. I spent last night three or four hours looking for it. Went through all of my library, couldn't find it. But I did find this one. When I read a biography, I like to have a couple of them so I can see what some, you know, when you read a biography, one biography will say something another biography didn't say. So it's interesting to read a couple of biographies together. I do that usually. So I just thought I'd check in. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing okay. I got a slight congestion in the mornings and uh, writing in my diaries. I'll read Moses' Choice. Carol come home from work. I'll watch some football today and tomorrow. And yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I hope that uh, you're having a good reading. I'm sure not all the people who watch these videos are have time to read or 
they have other obligations in the world but I do hope you're all doing well and yeah so I'll sign off and until next time bye